Wild news, right-wing billionaire Elon Musk is officially under investigation for allegedly trying to trick voters with the end goal of helping Donald Trump win the 2024 election. Now, we've heard of election interference coming from foreign countries, but Elon Musk, the right-wing billionaire, is genuinely using all the means available to him to try to sway the election in Donald Trump's favor, whether that is tapping into his vast wealth to give donations, or tapping into his wealth to buy X and use it to spread spread disinformation, or using his platform to endorse Trump and spread VP Harris AI faked videos, or you doing this, which is opening a super PAC and trying to trick voters through extra legal means. This article reads, Elon Musk PAC being investigated by Michigan Secretary of State for potential violations. A political action committee backed by Elon Musk is being investigated by the Michigan Secretary of State's office. Musk said he created and helped fund the America PAC, which is supporting Donald Trump. To be sure, legal experts cannot point to any state laws that may have been broken by the PAC, but once you read what is happening with this PAC, how they are tricking voters into thinking that they have just registered to vote when they actually haven't, it is absolutely disgusting and there is no way this is legal. Before I go on with the article, I just want to say conservatives are such hypocrites because we have listened to them for years whine about George Soros and create conspiracy theories about him pulling the strings and making donations and spreading disinformation to trick people, and now conservatives actually have their own George Soros on the right. We have a billionaire who bought a social media platform, has more power than he ever should have, owns a PAC, promised to make monthly donations of $45 million, which is leveraging his vast amounts of wealth to help Donald Trump, and then he went back on that promise, but... Elon Musk is literally what right-wingers think George Soros is. Leave a like on the video if you agree. So, a political action committee backed by billionaire Elon Musk is being investigated by the Michigan Secretary of State amid efforts to collect voter data. Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, said he created and helped fund the America PAC. So he created and helped fund it. I don't know, earlier they used this weird wording. Musk said he's tied to the PAC, but he literally created and funded the PAC which is supporting former President Donald Trump. Musk has a net worth of over $225 billion. The committee has been acquiring detailed voter information from those living in Michigan and other battleground states after people submit their personal data through a section on the PAC's website that says Register to Vote. After clicking on the Register to Vote tab on America PAC's website, users in states like Michigan can submit a zip code, address, and phone number. People with a Michigan address are brought to a page that says Thank You and asks users to complete the form below to help wrap up the voter registration process. As of Sunday afternoon, though, there was no other form to complete below the words thank you. So what they're saying right here is that Elon Musk's PAC had a page that said register to vote here. And if you live in a swing state, a state like Michigan or Pennsylvania, and you fill out this form, it doesn't actually register you to vote. It doesn't teach you how to register. It doesn't redirect you to another page. It just tricks you. It outright tricks you. But the weird thing is it only tricks you if you live in a key swing state. So if you live in New York or California or Wyoming and you visit the site, it'll actually help you register to vote. But if you live in Michigan or Pennsylvania or Georgia or Wisconsin, it will trick you. And how is that not disenfranchising voters? I don't see it in any other way if you are targeting specific key swing state voters. And that is why the Michigan Secretary of State began the investigation. Quote, every citizen should know exactly how their personal information is being used by PACs, especially if an entity is claiming it will help you register to vote in Michigan or any other state, a spokeswoman for the Michigan Secretary of State's office said in a statement to CNBC. Quote, while the America PAC is a federal political action committee, the department is reviewing their activities to determine if there have been any violations of state law. We will refer potential violations to the Michigan Attorney General's office as appropriate, the spokeswoman added. CNBC first reported on the group's efforts and how the site does not directly register people to vote for those with an address in a swing state. So to repeat, it does not directly directly register you to vote if you have an address in a swing state. A person with direct knowledge of the PAC's operations told CNBC that at one point since the group registered with the FEC in May, the links on the website were functioning properly, but admits now they're not. I'm sorry, that is not good enough. You can't say, oh, we're not actually disenfranchising voters because our links worked two or three months ago. No, you are actively undermining people's right to vote in America. The group is planning to launch a new website in the coming weeks, this person explained. The person declined 
declined to be named in order to speak freely about private matters. Listen, if you start up a PAC and you're a billionaire with over $200 billion and you have all of the resources and the infrastructure around you, the onus is on you to make sure the website is functioning. The onus is on you to make sure that you aren't tricking voters. A spokesman for the America PAC declined to comment. Musk did not return emails seeking comment. Jocelyn Benson, a Democrat, is Michigan's Secretary of State and the lead election official in the state. She has been a vocal opponent of election-related misinformation and taken on such statements made by former President Donald Trump, which is beautiful. That is great. We need more Democrats in positions of power pushing back on Donald Trump's election nonsense because my worry is that someday he will fill our institutions full of so many Trump loyalists and judges that feel like they owe him a favor that they will all pull an Eileen Cannon and dismiss cases or whatever they need to do. The Republican National Committee has sued Benson and other Michigan Democrats at least twice this year. Yeah, just sue whenever things don't go your way. So at this point, it's unclear if any laws have been broken in Michigan by the America PAC. Barbara McQuaid, who once served as a U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan, was not convinced that the PAC was necessarily breaking any state laws, even if this is morally wrong. Quote, I am not aware of any laws being broken, McQuaid said in an email on Sunday. So tricking voters into thinking they just registered to vote when they live in a swing state, I guess, isn't illegal, which it absolutely should be. It is totally morally wrong. Leave a like on this video, though, if you absolutely think it should be illegal, and make sure you comment a blue heart if you appreciate what I do. Quote, it is very troubling for any candidate or PAC funded project to deliberately fail to provide information or a link to register to vote when someone asks because they would potentially vote for the opposing candidates. Masaran said in an email, it's not only troubling, but it should be illegal, and it is proof that Donald Trump and Elon Musk, these men with such massive egos, not only think that they're above the law, but they will do anything to grab power to entrench their power, whether it is disenfranchising their fellow American citizens or even throwing their American citizens under the bus. I mean, we've seen Donald Trump do that with the border bill that he tanked. He thinks that immigration is such a problem that it's ruining our country, but it's not such a problem that Congress could pass a bill, but it's not enough of a problem that Congress should pass a perfectly good bill because Donald Trump thinks that that will hurt him politically. Now, Elon Musk is somebody who has bowed down and kissed the ring for Donald Trump. Whenever talking about their relationship, we naturally talk about this photo. Donald Trump once tweeted, when Elon Musk came to the White House asking me for help on all of his many subsidized projects, whether it's electric cars that don't drive long enough, driverless cars that crash, or rocket ships to nowhere, without which subsidies he'd be worthless, and telling me how he was a big Trump fan and Republican, I could have said, quote, drop to your knees and beg, and he would have done it. And Elon Musk absolutely dropped to his knees, and he's done far more, as he is now under investigation for Donald Trump, a man who doesn't care about him. If you enjoy what I do, if you appreciated this video, leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button. I love that you guys are part of this awesome community we're building heading into this high stakes election. We can all laugh together, cry together, cheer together, panic together. It's been amazing. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.